In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the major things that we learned from the entire GCSE A-Level and VTQ exams and results mess, um, the one that happened over summer. And considering what our options might be to improve or move forward in the future and what might be happening with Ofqual, the exams regulator. Now, this video and the information is all based on the School Speak article, which you can find in, in the description down below. And these facts are things that we learned as a combination of observation and quite significantly from of course senior staff after they were brought in before the Education Select Committee earlier this week. So before we start, just hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. And without further ado, let's jump in. So the first fact that we learned, according to this article, was that of course said that Williamson isn't telling the truth when he says that he had no idea of the problems with the algorithm-based system. They also said that he said that he had no idea until after the results came out that it worked the way that it did. Even though of course said that they briefed number 10 in early August and were having weekly meetings with the school minister. So it seems that it was generally known among the government that disadvantaged and outlier students would not be treated fairly by the system. It wouldn't work in their favor. So if this is the case, then it's pretty disappointing. No one likes being lied to, especially after the students, parents and schools all complained about the issues quite early on, before we even hit August. The second thing that was learned was that apparently of course suggested socially distance exams in March and that was their first recommendation. Then the second was to delay the exams and then the third recommendation was essentially what would turn into the CAGs. Now, I know many people in the comments of my videos have said a similar thing to the first suggestion. Why didn't we just space out the students? We could have even have had exams out on the fields with um, marquees or gazebos or even used every single classroom in the school and sent everybody else home. It honestly isn't that hard when you think about it. And it's quite a shame that they didn't give that solution any more further thought. Even if it wasn't the final solution, it would have been nice to have thought that they had thought about that seriously making students do exams but in a safe way. The third fact was that it was revealed that the entire triple lock system that was announced that allows students to use mock results is what caused everything to pretty much fall apart. From the looks of it, of course spoke to the education minister and told him pretty much exactly what I said in my video about the problems with mocks. But he announced that triple lock system and the, using the mocks for appeals anyway. And this then led to them releasing that statement and then withdrawing it a few hours later. Remember on that Sunday I made that entire video? And the reason why they withdrew it was because Williamson, the education minister, said to them, you can't put that up because the government, it doesn't work with government policy. So it started to look like not everyone was on the same page or understood what was going on. And so there was clashes and miscommunications, which is a bit of a shame. But after that, it left Okpo with no choice other than to move forward with the CAG grades, so centre assessed grades. There was no other option. The fourth thing that we learned is actually what Ofqual said that they learned, um, which seems to be that the public will not accept calculated grades. You can't just arbitrarily replicate the grades in the past and apply it to current students. And yeah, this therefore sets precedent for the coming grades in 2021. But with so much uncertain, even the proposals that they've made for that that I've done videos about in the past, that isn't certain anymore. We don't know what will change in the coming days, weeks and months. So it's something to keep an eye out for. But at the moment, it seems like delaying the exams is on everybody's mind and that might be where we're moving forward. But we'll talk about that in a later video. Now, number six was of course need to be more open and less shrouded in sort of mystery and secrecy. Now, of course gave good reasons for being secretive. They said that they thought people in schools might be able to game the system if they knew how it worked. Um, they also said that it could lead to students working out what they got before the day, before exams results day that is. Now I don't see how they would do that to be honest. I think students' guesses would have been as accurate as they are after an exam, where they walk out and I just like, um, based on what it says in my textbook, I think I got a B, or I think I got about 70%, and that's not really that accurate. You don't find out until the day of the results. So I don't see how that was, would be an issue, unless that system is literally that easy to unravel. Um, but I don't know. Either way, there's going to be an investigation into how it was handled and how the system worked. But I wonder if there's even a point in spending money and time investigating into that specific section anymore. And fact seven of what we found out. So finally, of course, survival as an 
organisation is being brought into question. Because of the loss in confidence, many are asking whether they should be taken apart and put together as a new organisation, a new regulator as a whole. And although I don't think it's likely, this year is full of surprises, so who knows what's coming? Who knows? We might see an end to off court and the rise of something new, just like uh, the public health organisation. So that was pretty much what the article was trying to get across. And I think it doubles as a pretty good summary of how this entire summer results situation turned into the mess that it did. And this, of course, for the most part, is of course part of the story. Um, it's their senior members being um, quizzed on it and it's them giving their point of view. But they've grounded so much of it with evidence and said that they have minutes from their meetings to back it up. So the assumption is that for the most part, this stuff is true and this is what happened. So my question is, how do you feel about these seven things that we've come to learn about the whole situation? Do you, does it make it clearer who's to blame? Does it even matter now that we've moved on and that that whole summer's passed? Or do you think that it's important to review the past so that we can make adjustments and make, well, avoid similar situations, similar messes in the future? Or maybe you just think that we should take things as they come because things are moving so rapidly, so fast. This September is nowhere near the same as last September was. So maybe it's not even worth considering it anymore. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, I've been meaning to get around to creating a video about the 2021 exams. Loads of you have been asking me about it. And I've, I feel weird about sharing my opinion on it. The reason why is I really want more information first. Everything seems to be rumors. It seems to be unofficial comments or ideas that people are throwing forward or proposals. And I, I just want those hard solid facts at the moment before I make a video which is disproven like a day later. But in the meantime, expect me to keep bringing out one or two videos every week to keep you up to date with the latest GCC, A-level and university information. And also to bring you those tips, to get that advice and also other stuff. Um, I want to get back to making those art lessons um, soon and, and also throwing in the odd gaming or anime analysis for you creative students and appreciators to really pull apart and dissect. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that stuff. And yeah, for now, check out some of the videos that are appearing on screen because I'm sure you'll find them useful. And that's all for today. Until next time.